Hello, welcome to another video featuring Goddess and me. This time, after looking at another video on YouTube, I uh, found out how to do farming. Uh, <laughs> you might think, well, blah. but for some reason, I had kind of had this sort of, I don't know, Not so much brain wave, but the, quite the opposite uh, when it came to. Well, okay, so how do I put farms? Like, like not farms, because I, I mean I've got you know farmhouses. Uh, what's that one? That, that's a farmhouse there, and that's an even bigger farmhouse there. And so, so where do I put farmland? Then I saw this one guy that gave me the idea where if I click on finger of God and go boing and crap. Yeah, I'm sorry, as you know game's a bit laggy for me because of uh, oh well um, boing and boing right so what I will do is now I should say what I'll do now is clear up uh, clear up the mess which will do this and create these little plots of land now, as you can see there. And so, uh, so, because then I discovered uh, by watching the other guy's video, you've got this flag here. And I thought, hello. Well, I didn't realise what the, I didn't realise what that was until, like I say, watching the other guy's video. If you click that, it spawns like people. <laughs> if you know what I mean, it spawns people were uh, well, like within uh, your settlement, and so. If I click on there, yeah. oh, there he is. This little guy uh, comes running out. And you're like, uh, what's that? Ta da! That is a farmer. And what he will do is create these plots of land which obviously will provide food for your settlement. Ta-da! It was me thinking, right, okay, um, how the hell do I get farm land? Obviously I knew how to get farm houses, that's easy enough. What I couldn't understand was, how do I get farm land? And that was it. I obviously didn't know or didn't realise this flag appeared when things like you know, needed doing in the settlements. Yeah. And so, basically, as I click on there, yeah. these little farm guys come running out and. And obviously, oh, there it goes. The flag disappears once you've got enough, uh, yeah, once enough characters are required. Oh, well, it almost uh, <laughs> raised again. And there we go. As you can see, they're uh, they're farming away there. 
and uh, yeah so these are my farmers who are uh, well basically providing farming I'm not exactly sure what these do uh, but there we go that is how you get farmland. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a. I mean, obviously, loads of people have done it before. They know how to do it, and thankfully, that you know, some of these people, or at least one of them, anyway, has you know basically shown me the land. Uh, because what you need to do is make sure that it's connected, as you can see with the path there, and obviously that one is as well. Uh, that's that's all you need to be sure of is that yeah, it's connected to the settlement. Otherwise, obviously they the not build it. Basically. Uh, now, not sure how it's collected. I'm guess. I mean, I'm guessing it all builds up in the town centre, and you collect it that way, or I don't know. But there we go. That is farming. Uh, I mean, it looks like there, there's some stuff growing. Um, yeah. And, of course, you know, uh, takes a bit of time. I'm, I'm guessing this guy was supposed to help out with one of these farmlands. But to somehow got a bit lost or something <laughs> I don't know it's just standing there so if I uh, oh hold on, let me scroll out again let's uh, let's use my finger of God to point and Point. Uh, uh, this is a problem. You, you, you need to use finger of God because otherwise the people would come out of there and basically start building. Which is something I don't want them to do. Because I want that to be a nice big piece of farmland. Ooh, <laughs> um, and what I was thinking what this guy would need to do, instead of standing there pointing, is to go to that piece of farmland and uh, start farming. Here, Jethro, go farm over there. No, he's just going to stand there and point. Alright then. As you can see, there's something going on there. Not exactly sure what. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what food that is. Can I? Uh, ah, wheat. Okay. And I think if I click on there, I think that means that it will feed that much of the population. 
I'm, I'm guessing though, you know, uh, same as this one, that will do <coughs> that much when it starts growing, obviously. Uh, that will do about just as much. So I think what I may need to do, if that is the case, um, you probably need to go around a, a few places to uh, to go Kablong and Kapoop uh, to create some farmlands because then if will it no it won't quite uh, Do anything. Well, what I would like this guy to do is, instead of standing there pointing, is to actually go and farm somewhere. Well, he's, he's pointing that way, but he's pointing this way as well. Um, now that there, there is nothing up here that is connected to the town down here, I mean that these houses up here are not connected because uh, they've got damaged by the storm. So, so no, <laughs> you don't need to go up here. So, um, yeah. Yes, look. They are farming. Why can't you farm? I apologise if I offend any <laughs> people with that kind of accent from like Bristol and down the, uh, down that way. <laughs> As you can, uh, Maybe imagine you know, that does tend to be the kind of accent that farms yeah. have on TV. Anyway, no. don't blame me. Blame television. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, There we go, another couple of bits of farming. Now that the plot is down, hopefully if we do that, see that's going to feed quite a bit more there. I'm guessing that's what that radius means. Uh, th that's the amount of... Uh, no, that, that, that's the radius that it covers. If you know what I mean. Um, yeah. We need... Uh, Oh, just one more. And he's going to run up there. Okay. Uh, what this guy needs to do is stop standing there pointing. And... Oh, 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 I like do something. Action, enter a boat. Oh, there we go. Was it because he was stuck in that piece of land for some reason? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why he was uh, stuck in that piece of land, I don't know. Uh, what I'm guessing is once the farmers are finished, well, it would be easier to uh, to see this guy. Uh, okay. Can I repair that house, be a dear. 
Um, okay, I'm not sure what a, which abode he's going to be entering. Uh, because this is a farmhouse, I'm guessing this is... Yep, that's where the other farmers are going. Um, oh, and he's going into that about. Okay, I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, they can, like, go enter any of Balde's wish, and somebody's just died. Uh, yeah, that, I get the feeling we're going to. There's going to be a storm. Yeah. But this is why... I, I mean, I, I try and get things... Oh, there we go. It's like every night there's a storm. And I've got to be honest. It's just... It's got to that point where it's like... Why bother? Yeah, because it doesn't give you time to repair the abouts. You know what I mean? It, by the time you've repaired so many abouts, oh look, it's night time again. Let's have another storm. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, people like the. Uh, you know, citizens and whatever, they end up dying before they finish uh, repairing an abode. Because, look, come back. See, I mean he's only got like 68 points of health. I mean, I, I can click that to give him an extra, uh, extra 100. It's only that one. And um, it's only that one. And that's what you need to do. You know what I mean? It, it's it's got to that point of the game where... It's like... Right, okay. And once they start doing that, that that's when their health starts deteriorating. And... Uh, yeah. But that's the game. You, know, you can't complain really, you can't expect it to be that easy. Um, I mean, <laughs> obviously it would be nice if it was that easy, but you can't expect a game to uh, to be that easy for that, you know, all the time. I mean, I Obviously, there's going to be certain factors that, you know, uh, that are going to, like, get on your nerves a bit. So, like, oh my god, why? Stop. Just let me do this, whatever. Yeah. But, like I say, um, It's just one of the aspects of the game, and no point complaining because uh, ah, thank you. I was going to say, where where are my farmers? I mean, I've got farmers connected right there, so there we go. Three farmers. Who will come and produce a plot of land? So yeah, um, okay, I've got a bit kind of <laughs> kind of sidewinded there a bit, but uh, as you can see there, I mean that covers quite a bit of land. So uh, I think that's a kind of bit of a bit of advice there is don't you don't really need that much if you know what I mean. If you 
right click I mean I, I, I'm guessing that's the area of influence as in that is the area of like how much it will uh, it will feed if you know what I mean so uh, you would probably need a, a, another one say for example I could put one there that would probably be enough for there uh, I could probably put another one yeah. uh, over there that would oh, I think the thing is if you click on that now so you can see how much uh, yeah. so I could pretty much get rid of that cabin there and uh, I'm sorry but I caught the wire of the uh, headset and so, yeah. But that is how you farm, if you're unsure. Uh, I think you, you do need a farmhouse. Uh, once you've got a farmhouse connected to your settlement, then it allows you to create these. Well, such as that, that's going to be a wheat farm. And uh, and as you can see in the top right there, if I uh, can I find a bit of clear space so that you can see that oh you can see it better there. Uh, at the moment it's only got 17 until it reaches uh, the first milestone, which is a thousand. Uh, because that it's similar to the, how the population works, so you you need to get like 500 and then a thousand and two thousand dollars. It's a similar thing with uh, with the farming, so yeah, it's got just gone up to 18. Um, that basically means once you get to a thousand, you, you probably get like some other uh, a, a card or something. I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, this is the first time I'm. Uh, um, experience in this and blah blah blah. So, uh, so that's it for this video. I'm sorry it went on a little bit longer than uh, than necessary. Uh, I hope you've learned something from it, um, because the main purpose of this was to show you how to farm or how to create farms. Anyway. Uh, Quick brief recap, so you need a settlement with a farmhouse, then check your town centre for a flagpole. That was the thing that was a little bit confusing for me, I was thinking how do I get bit plots of farmland? Check the flagpole, you click on your town centre, which will then produce a farmer, who will then create your plot of farmland and then obviously once uh, once it gets going that's it yeah, that, that, that's how it goes and uh, well obviously you don't need to do anything after that it all sort of seems to automatically collect uh, Or, as you can see there, the farmer actually takes it uh, this and takes it to the town centre where it, it you know, is distributed uh, throughout the settlement. See, so exactly. That looks like uh, someone on his way back from a delivery. Uh, I can't quite see. Oh, there he is. I was going to say, can't quite see him. But, uh, I think, ah, there's one. He's just about to. Oh, and that's it. See? They just come walking around and they just leave it at the town centre, and there you go.
Here comes another one. And ta -da! delivery made. Uh, so once again, thank you for watching. I hope you've uh, you've learned something. I've certainly learned something uh, <laughs> because I was completely baffled how the farming works. Because it doesn't really explain anything. This is the thing. It's something you you kind of have to find out yourself. It, it 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 never really the game doesn't tell you how to farm. If you know what I mean. Um, if we take a quick look at the book, right, uh, oh, there we go. We've got farm. Uh, followers from a settlement will now farm the land around it. That's all it says. You click on the information. Uh, it leads to terrace farming, specialised labour plows. Settlements will now produce farmers who, on finding an available plot, will start to work the land. Crops farmed will be taken to the nearest settlement to provide food for the town. What it doesn't tell you is one that you need a farmhouse. Two, that you need the bit of land needs to be connected to the settlement. And three, that you need to click the statue in the centre, uh, you know, in the centre of the settlement to produce the farmers. So, you know, the little instructions like this, quite helpful. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to, you know, like me, you're going to be sitting there thinking, well, right, okay, I've opened that ability. How do I do it? Or how do I use it? So, there you go. Uh, so, once again, thank you for watching, and join me next time uh, on my uh, little Let's Play Goddess videos. Thank you. Goodbye.